Get out the popcorn. It's time for Zero Page Homebrew. <laughs> Welcome to the weekend. Welcome to Friday's edition of Zero Page, where we play new games on classic consoles. Not so new today, but usually new, newer games, let's newer say. Newer games. Um, and we broadcast at 60 frames a second, so you better be watching at 60 frames or you're going to be missing half of it. And we've got Tanya here. Hello. And I'm James, and <clears throat> welcome to the show. We've got three games today. Excellent. First one being a puzzle game. Excellent. Because I wanted to replay it for you. Good. Because you did miss it. And I, and it was last Wednesday, right? Uh, just last episode, actually. Yeah. So two days ago. Yeah. And we have the developer in the chat with us, Excellent. Andrew Davey from Australia, listening in, watching, watching and listening. <laughs> um, and it works out pretty well the Friday time for him. Because it's, I think it's about 11 a.m. in Australia okay. right, right now. Gotcha. On the uh, east coast of Australia. Mm. Um, so that works well. Oh, Dan K has brought has, uh, come in as well. Hello, Tiki Dan K. So, yeah, welcome to everybody in the chat. <clears throat> uh, MK Smith AU, who looks like he's from Australia as well, <laughs> works well. And it's Saturday there, too, during the day. Yeah, how 11 nice. 11 a.m. You're yeah, already on so the weekend. That, already into the weekend. Yeah, into the future. <laughs> yeah, you get New Year's early, you get holidays early, you get yeah. weekends early. You're really lucky there. <laughs> Uh -huh. But Mondays come early, too. Mondays do come early, yeah. so it's a good with the bad. So Dan K, <laughs> Andrew Davey, MK, oh my goodness, MK <laughs> Smith, AU, uh, Mallard Games, I suppose, uh, uh, Ground Trooper, Pack Rat, Video Games, um, Splendid Nut as well. Did I say Mallard Games? I, I think, think I did. did. I think it covered everybody Excellent. so far. Welcome. Welcome to the show. And I want to thank everybody who is a... Um, Twitch subscriber as well. Charles and Check, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strom, RC70, Retro Happy Hour, Sir Catleg, Sound Wizard, Spiceware, S. Ramirez 2008, and Tiki Dan K, who's with us. A lot of these people are regulars, of course. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, and thank you for subscribing. And you can do it for free as well if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. Um, so, last. Last Friday, I played Stampede and Keystone Capers, mm -hmm. which is very cool. Um, and I got the Keystone Capers patch. And uh, and the also very cool thing about that was Gary Kitchen, the creator of Keystone Capers, yeah. was watching. That's very cool. While I was playing. Yeah, that's which was very exciting. just, you know, it was amazing. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure Dan K. Um, alerted his brother <laughs> to, to say that, hey, he's playing your game, Keystone Capers, yeah. come in and watch. Playing so that it was, live. Yeah. Playing it live. So that was an honor <laughs> to get the patch while um, Gary Kitchen was yeah. watching. And I also played Stampede, and I thought I didn't get the patch. Mm -hmm. While I was... <laughs> while I was <laughs> cats, cat... <laughs> Stop it! Anyway... He's, he, he likes Velcro. He's not actually biting the cable. He's biting the Velcro. <laughs> the Velcro cable tie. <laughs> yeah, the Velcro cable ties. As long as he's not chewing on that proprietary cable that's powering the lights. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I was playing Stampede, and I thought the to get the patch, I'd get 4,000 points. But it was actually 3,000 points, and I got 3,300 points while playing. Mm. So I actually did get the patch That's awesome. for both games Excellent. last time. Woo. And Dan K says, hi, Tari and Pixel. I'm going to steal this cat because he's being trouble. Yes. Hey. Oh, the webcam is crazy and way off and terrible looking. I'm just going to fix the webcam for a second <laughs> here while nobody's on the screen. Experiencing some technical difficulties. And the cat just oh, tried to swipe. Oh, Ow! A little bit better. Oh, you're sharp. He needs cutting? Yeah, he does. You're very sharp. I'm going to hold you like this. Claws out. It's very dangerous. Come on. <laughs> oh, that's way too far up now. Um, there, close enough. Okay. Um, hi. Don't this, watch him. He's he's. This is Pixel, he's in and a he's, mood. <laughs> his name is Pixel because of this black dot on his stomach. He's yes. got a dead pixel on his tummy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that right? And we're getting very close. We're one week away from the Stella fundraiser, which is next Friday, mm. um, 12 p.m. Pacific. 
to uh, noon to midnight in Pacific time. Um, everybody will be there. Tanya will be there. I'll be there. Be there a little late, but I'll be there. Yeah, you'll be <laughs> there about this time. <clears throat> um, Erlen will be there and Darcy will be there. The whole Excellent. crew, just like uh, at the award show. Yeah, and we're all going to be crammed in this little room. Eating pizza. Eating and, pizza. And bad snacks. It's going to be really warm. <laughs> Yeah, might have, my, to bring that's a, my, uh, might have to bring prediction. a fan in, open up I the windows. So. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be cool that day. Mm. Um, so it's just a week away. It'll be on July 12th, starting at noon, go to midnight. Um, so six hours prior than right now is mm. when it starts. So figure it out around the world yourselves. <laughs> and I actually updated the schedule on the Atari Age forums so that if you click on the times, it'll bring you to Google and it tells you what exact time that is in, in your, your time, time zone. zone. Yeah. It, you don't have to type anything. You just click the time and it tells you when the show yes. starts. Yeah. But it being over 12 hours makes it likely that at some point you will You'll be, be able to, to tune in. So, yeah. yeah. Unless you sleep Europe, for 12 hours. Europe, Australia, Asia, North Anywhere. America. Anywhere. You're going to be good. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so the, the games we're going to be playing today, uh, like I said, we're going to be playing QB, mm -hmm. um, Special Edition. Nice. Um, we're going to be playing, f and we're going to be trying to get our patches for these two games. Freeway and River Raid. Okay. And one is, Freeway is kind of like a Frogger-ish okay. kind of game. Get across the street without getting mm -hmm. run over. Um, I have played River Raid. You have played that. Yes. And that is a vertical shooter. Yes. And it was programmed Pretty by a woman. Challenging. Actually. Very nice. Yeah. One of the only women in the video game industry back then making video games. Very cool. I think one of three. It's 1982. That's, so yeah, that's we'll early learn, days. But we'll learn more about those <laughs> that's early days. as we get to them. And I think there uh, another one made Centipede, mm -hmm. um, and I don't know who else was programming back then. Mm -hmm. um, so let's get to the first game. Mm -hmm. Let's get on with it. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to keep Andrew Davy up. <laughs> no, it's actually in the morning now, and yeah. he's fine. He doesn't need to go to sleep this time. <laughs> but he got up at 4 a.m. last time. Oh, wow. To, uh, yeah, that's to dedication. see the show. I don't think it I'd is. get up for four, at 4 a.m. for just for anything. Oh, yes, Packrat, <laughs> please tune in. Yes. Um, so here okay. you go. We're going to be playing the game uh, QB, and we have actually a little bit more information than okay. last time, because um, I got a bit more information from Andrew. <gasps> is that a pineapple? Uh, it is a pineapple. Oh, one second. Don't start anything yet. I, I moved. Got Should it? I not have moved? No, 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 you're fine. Okay. It didn't actually start yet. Okay. There we go. Okay. There's QB. Mm-hmm. And the basic premise of the game. Mm. Oh, you have started. Anyway, yeah. don't do anything. That's okay. Um, there's a pattern in the right. Yeah. See the flashing? Yeah. That's the pattern you have to make with the tiles that you have. Um, and you move around your tile into position. You can hop on another one. Then you can move that one around. Oh. And you have to get it into position. And there's pineapples and other fruit. Um, I didn't ask Andrew if you could let us know why he is frowning and why he is happy. Now, I'm guessing it's because of the time. He's running out of time. He starts getting frowny when it's, his time's almost up for the level. We'll restart. No, he does, yeah, he yeah. does not have a happy face. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm just running him around and all over the place. So. Yeah. yeah. But we'll, we'll restart the game. Um, so that that is the baker's basic premise. You want to get that pattern as quick as possible oh, on each level, and I each see. level's a different pattern. It's a time thing. Okay, so he starts frowning when it's time. So let's start over. Okay. I'll get up the sound here to a good level. Yep. So start moving, moving around. Do your thing. Did you hop? Yep. I'm very confused. Do you want me to play first so I can show you? Well, I'm I'm trying to figure out. The sound is pretty quiet on this one, so let me I'm turn it up confused. here. You have to kind of build a bridge. You have to hop, get the last one, build the bridge over. Move them one at a time, but you can't move it outside of the area that you can hop again to, to move the next one, right? And now the pattern's changed because you took them. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so sometimes the pattern changes. That's weird. Oh, and I get when it's flashing, that means a piece is not in place. I mean, that's well, not clearly, that's, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's not too consequential. 
So there you go. You have the two. Now you want it. There you go. Now move that one up. Yeah, but then I can't jump to anything. Nope. Move it up and o up, and then over. Then go down. Move that one up into the. Well, it's already changed it. again. <laughs> I don't quite get it. I haven't quite figured this out. <laughs> See, it's so not plenty of time after all. Andrew says no. There I'm isn't. Confused. Maybe you should start. Yeah. I'm <laughs> I'll start, and it'll, it'll help you out. And then you'll be like, oh, okay. I get it. Okay. Okay, so restart it for me. Just restart? Yep. The right-hand one. Okay. Okay. So what I like to do is get all my pieces out. And then what I can do is put that one in place. But how'd you get the ones up there in place? Uh, because he can't one, jump. Oh, go, I boom. see. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, so you have to kind of visualize yeah, it. Yeah, I'm how... trying to think. Oh, you have to jump to, to another one, but yeah. Oh, oh my god, he attacked me. And there's enemies as mm -hmm. well. And you can push them, push them off. So you can well start building a little bit. Oh. But you have to spend your points pushing them off. Oh, what was that guy? Never seen him before. Is he a bad guy? I guess he's always a bad guy. Or you got oh, an extra life, one, maybe. And it know. put one automatically in place this time. Oh, interesting. In place? Yeah, like there was already one there. Yay. Getcha. Yeah. And Andrew and that guy is already... And the rabbits move, move the spaces around mm. on you until you get rid of them. Go. What? Mm. Oh, I did it. The oh, rabbit, the rabbit moved happened it to move it into the right I spot. I was like, uh, oh, I have to get that rabbit. I'll put some things into place. And. Oops, messed up. Uh, okay, there. Oh, it moved. Oh, no. It took too Get long. Here. Yeah, he's not happy now. Oh, no. Did it move again? Oh, it did. What is happening? It's moving so much. Okay. There we go. Um, And if you do the fruit... The score for the fruit's not going up on the screen. Why is, that's weird. I swear it was doing that when I was playing it on Stella. When you get um, you get the fruit, it goes like 100 points. Ah! Okay. Let's pull it now. Yep, there we go. Oh. Let's hold one more. Oh, it tells you there's another block to come. Okay. Yeah, they're on the right ah. hand side. How do you get rid of him? You have to uh, be him? next to it and then press the button and press in the direction. Oh, button and direction. Yeah. There's a specific order you need to get the four fruit in for extra life. Mm. Oh boy. Whoa. whoa! Whoa, 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 Oh, now he's moving it too? Oh, the cats are going nuts upstairs. Oh, and it changed again. Okay, I have to concentrate.
Actually, there was a pause. I need to hand the instructions to you some more information. Oh, Andrew, <laughs> that's okay. Because you made me play it, so I can't well, read no, out the I, instructions. Well, no, I wanted to watch you play it first. Okay. Oh, my God. Get out of here. He's messing things up. Pattern is starting to change quicker than your skill level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the problem. It's like I'm trying to put things in place, but then it's like, nah, you're too slow. Way too slow now. There's no speed. Oh no. There we go. Just gotta think quicker. Oh, no, I can't. I have to gotta get things out of the way. get all the pieces on the board. Oh, the enemies are coming like crazy now. Oh, it's just enemies. And they're messing me up. I don't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it changed. Come on. Here. Yay, yeah, the manual mentions fruit, but doesn't tell you the order. Mm -hmm. I'm on too high of a level now that there's too many enemies to even think about the fruit. Just constantly attack them. Ah! That's not what I need to do. I want to put that one there. Put that one down there. Go. Good job. Hey, Nathan Strum, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Put that one there. <laughs> ah. oh, oh my god, a fire. fire! Oh my god, that's a new guy. Is that it? Mm -hmm. 27? Not bad, actually. 23. That's mm -hmm. pretty good, pretty good. I was trying to explain things. Level 12. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, now you know how to play. Okay, extra info from Andrew. I um, I thanked him for dropping into the chat on Wednesday and watching the live stream. He said, it's my pleasure. See if I can drop in on Friday, which he is here. Now, at least I know who Tanya is, because I was mentioning Tanya. <laughs> and I mentioned, I told him, and it's like, oh, my wife, Tanya. And uh, now he's like, oh, okay, now I know who Tanya is. Well, here she is, in person. Hello. Um, one thing you may have not picked up on, which comes from my memory, remember it's been 20 years, is firstly, uh, you eat the fruit in the right order and the points double for each portion. Okay. But it's, I swear there's something, something is being weird where it's not ah. showing the fruit going up the screen. Up, up the screen. I'm going <laughs> to play it on um, Stella and see what is going on here. Okay, start over. Oh, how good at this I am. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I'm hopping on the fruit and it goes 100, 300. Oh, then it stops. Oh, okay. It only goes up the screen if you hop on it in the right order. Ah. That's why. Well, that makes it even easier to figure out. So it's watermelon. No. Watermelon. First. Then pineapple. What? What button am I pushing? B? Yep, B and then the direction. Well, you're dead. Oh, you're dead. no. Oh, it's, it's fine. Can I try again? Yep. <laughs> if you be on the spot next to them, press a button and then a direction. Now you're swinging more into survival mode than solving mode. Yeah. Correct. How'd you die? No. Some, oh, you Why finished it. How did I die? <laughs> there you go. See how many points you get? 13,000 already. 
If you do the puzzles really, really, really fast, you get super amount of points. Ah. There you go, you got it. And the bonus goes down quite quickly. Um, if you don't solve it quick enough. Hmm. I do. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, I'll continue to read. Um, secondly, there's a hare and an octopus. Oh, I'm not sure if you get an extra life with four all in order. It's possible. And I think you said that in the chat that if you do get uh, an extra life, if you get all the fruit in the right order. Uh, secondly, there's a hare and an octopus. They behave differently. The hare, I seem to remember, likes moving cubes off their correct positions. Yes, definitely. And in the higher levels, it looks like even the octopus starts moving the uh, the pieces. And we just barely encountered the fire guy. And I just died from him immediately. So I'm not sure what he does, what his pattern of behavior is. Um, the octopus likes to sit on cubes in their incorrect positions. Uh, so you can't move them. And or chase you. That's how I remember. Ah, the uh, In the early out levels, the hare and the octopus disappear quickly. In the later levels, they you pretty much have to use the button to get rid of them. Then it becomes a balance between how much you score you spend on getting rid of them against how much score you get ver via the timer. Yeah, there was a lot of guys I was having to get rid of, so I'm guessing you use up a lot of your points getting rid of them on the higher level because I seem to remember playing a shorter amount of time but getting more score last episode, like in the 20s. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> on how to get that? Ah, oh. uh. got me. <clears throat> And there's less time on each level. The board changes more quickly, etc. It ramps up. It was amusing uh, to me watching you play and not quite seeing the most efficient way to get cubes into position. For me, it's intuitive. Watching you guys, you guys well, you've had like many decades of <laughs> figuring it out. It's like boom, 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 boom. But once you, <clears throat> once you uh, figure it out, it's like, oh, okay. Get the big, the big chunks done first. Like kind the, of, yeah. Yeah, and then do the one-offs by moving that one into position last. Like, you can make that. That's what I, I always make that. The big one first? Yeah. There's still a full block left. There you go. Oh, oh, we just hatched. I hate when that happens. Um... Watching you guys play, I could see your brains figuring it out <laughs> and literally working Slowly out what you had to do. Turning. That was interesting. Yeah. That note hang, hung on. Uh, I asked him about how he generated the patterns because there seems to be like every pattern is totally, totally different. Um, I said, as I was playing it, it was definitely getting easier to figure out the patterns and how to get them into position. Uh, were the patterns stored in the ROM or worked out in real time by the program? There seems to be an incredible number of them. And Andrew answered, uh, patterns are purely random, but with a set number of blocks which increase from level to level up to a maximum. The time to make the pattern decreases from level to level. There you go. And I did find the instructions online as well. Yeah, that was a bug. That's what I thought. It held on to the note um, at the end of your, your game. It just uh, coincided with something that was happening and didn't get the off, the off uh, sound. Maybe you hit something at the just a little bit wrong time. Ah! There you go. There you go. <sighs> Playing the game. So I'm reading from the actual instructions now. The aim of QB is to achieve the highest score possible by mo moving the cubes in the large play field to match the pattern of cubes in the small play field, the target grid. Each level is completed when all the cubes in the play field have been positioned exactly as shown as the, in the target grid. The target grid shows the pattern and positions of the cube needed to complete the screen. Cubes shown on the target grid have a corresponding cube in the same position. The large grid remains solid. Those who do not will flash until they gain their own corresponding cube. You can move the cube you're st standing on by pushing the direction in on the joystick. If a cube is blocking your path, you will automatically jump onto that cube. Which is a cool mechanic that you don't need a separate button to move a cube. 
You are either moving a cube or hopping on a cube, which is which is really good. There you go. Oh, it changed. Yeah, but you're pretty close to that one. Yeah. So move, move uh, that one right up. And then go down and move that one. Yeah, move that one up. And move the remaining one down. There you go. There we go. Levels and lives. Uh, the fruits are for eating, giving you points and extra lives. If you pick up all the fruit in the right order, you get additional life. So I want to start trying to figure that out. Write what the down order is? What the order is there as I watch you play. So I'm just going to note. I think it was the watermelon was first. Water. Melon. And then it was the pineapple. And then from there, I don't know. Because there's still. Strawberry. Watermelon. Pineapple. Oh, peach. Oh, I don't know what that was, but it was the right one. Oh, no, we don't know. That was a bug. Oh, he'll have to do a recall. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Because he had to recall about a hundred. Oh, no, games. really? Yeah, he did a, a special edition version of the game, which is the one we're playing. Um, but we're playing the bug free one. And he had to recall all of them. But he either gave the option of... What am I doing? <laughs> there you go. The option of, I can just send you the board, or you can send the whole thing back to me and I'll replace it. And most people opted for just the new board and put it in themselves. It's just really easy to ah. replace a board on a, um, a cartridge. Especially if the screw is just on the back and not on the front. Um, so those people got an extra. Oh, watermelon. Watermelon again. You don't know what it's going to be. <laughs> yeah, they disappear pretty quickly now. Maybe you're actually playing the recalled version. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. I was pretty sure I'm looking, making sure that it wasn't. This one was like what? the special edition, then it had like an A or something on it that somebody labeled it because I had a special edition NTSC and then a special edition A. So this is the A version. But maybe it's maybe it was labeled wrong. That could be it. Yay! It's happy. Sixteen thousand. You can do it. Oh it's a bunny messing with you. That is cute. Yeah. Now, I think if you hop on the eggs while they're hatching, it's okay, but, and until they actually turn into the, the creature. Now, are all puzzles solvable? I'm guessing... No, no, it's too Are there any unsolvable puzzles, Andrew? Because it seems like if the pieces are purely random, um... You could have like six pieces, but they're all scattered individually, and that would make it. It wouldn't make it impossible. It would just take a lot longer. You'd have to slowly move the bridge one by one, leaving one behind, then leaving another behind, then leaving another behind. <laughs> oh, that one looked like an easy one. Just shove them all in the corner. That no, one's that one's because it changed too. instantaneously. Yeah, but you can do this one. Kill that guy. Get him. You don't actually kill anyone. You just kind of send them off. You go, go away. The other the upper levels it's just too hard to get the fruit in the right order but i guess if you really need ah, oh he moved faster oh that's it there we go <laughs> okay first ride out the cubes to the isolated ones yeah mm -hmm. you guys just need to learn it play it properly <laughs> ride out the cubes to the isolated ones yes all solvable yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. makes sense can you press reset mm -hmm. please well it would all be solvable yeah mm. I do like the addition of the fruit and the things that move the cubes around. It makes the game more dynamic than just <laughs> men just figuring out a puzzle. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a puzzle, but with more a lot more stuff. 
See, that was all kind of individuals. Mm -hmm. And you had to kind of move it bit by they bit. They take longer when they're individual, but oh. when they're connected, it seems like you can kind of work that out a little faster. Because then I had to do that, and I have to kind of build it over to that second one. Oh my god. Uh, and do that. Oops. And do that. There you there go. You go. Oh my god, I hate that when they hatch right next to it yeah, and then just... Yeah, and then like, bing! It's like, nope, game over! So you have to be really on your toes. So that one's in place already. Just screw it up. Stop it. Oops. What is happening? You moved it. Bring it around. Oh, he did. What you am took I doing? way too long. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? You're going all over the place. I am. We should all get penalized for number of moves. Well, yeah, he gets unhappy, but maybe your score goes down. But it's just down. time. It's not number of moves, though. It's, yeah, but your score goes, goes down. I'm confusing myself. Yeah, it's funny. It's easy to do. There you go. <sighs> First, ride out the cubes to the isolated ones. Oh, didn't know that was a bunny. Sometimes you have on days and off days. That's just the way it works. <laughs> oh, oh, it just changed. Oh, my God. Seriously. Terrible. So think of being efficient. A lot of wasted moves there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there is a lot of wasted moves. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm not thinking efficiently, that's for sure. Whoa. You almost got gotcha. you. That was that was very close better. to being a lot better. <laughs> Much yeah. better. Oops. Bunnies. That was not bad. Got a lot of points there. Mm. Yeah, I can see kind of putting them in place while you're getting them mm -hmm. is uh, very helpful. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. There you go. Order versus chaos. Order wins this game. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I think that's what we need to do is just start thinking about putting them in, in place while I get them. See, 33, I already beat my score by, by just doing that. Um, yay, 37. Oh, that helps a lot. <laughs> Oh, oh, I like gotcha. jumped at the same time he did. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god, he's fast. Whoa, 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 that was scary. Yep, doing a lot better now. Stop it! It's wrecking my. Wasn't the bunny put put it in the right place though? No, it's in the wrong place. No, I think it's the other guy that puts it in the wrong place. You you had it like a second ago, and now it's all changed. Almost all changed. Down? Oh, there, there we guy. go. Mm -hmm. that up, RC70 oh. says, any plans for a mobile version? James was right when he said this would make a great mobile game. The yeah. movement is like 2048. Yes, I like that game. That's a good game. Yeah. Which is the only mobile game I've played over 100 hours. Yeah, that's a very, very, very addictive game. Yeah, because it's just swiping, and then I have an extra button for firing. That's it. And then Andrew Davies well, really says, well actually, I fired up Android Studio to teach myself some Android programming just a few days ago. So, yes, maybe I should do a mobile version. I think you should. I think it yeah. would clean up. It's like a nice, simple game, and it would be wonderful. Wonderful mobile yep. game. It's just swiping the four directions, mm -hmm. and then an extra button mm -hmm. on the side. Um, very, very simple uh, controls. It would translate really well to mobile. Mm -hmm. So that was my best one, for sure, 40,000. Mm -hmm. So that's a definite tactic. Put things in place close to the place they're going to be as you get them, but by still making a bridge to get back to. Yeah. No, what am I doing? Move that Oops. one. Yeah. And then that. Of points, but it's much better to not go for fruit. I found to get and get the uh, no, all the bonuses. Oh, ah, no. stop it! It all moved anyway. It changed. Oh no! <laughs> it was I. Ugh. It was jumping when I didn't want him to jump. And when I play this, the feeling of that was not bad is very relaxing. Yeah, once you like, you're like, oh, I solved it and solve it. It's like tiny little quick puzzles that you can solve, but also action. A little bit of action too mm -hmm. in there. I mean, in the early levels, it's not much action because that's good. Gets you uh, kind of warmed up a bit. Uh oh, Mr. Octopus is messing with you. Now. Uh. Messing with you. Oh, oh! What? I... You're jumping instead of. I think it's a button then direction. Oh. Not direction then button, because the direction will make you hop. Go, oh, one piece left. Oh, you're pressing the button. You wasted your score. Oh, you lose score with the button? Yeah, because it's like nice. throwing your points at the enemy. There you go. Yeah, it it is like those puzzles where you have to do it in the least amount of moves yeah and you get points for the least amount of moves yeah but this one there we go. but this one has the added time counting down like the bonus gets worse the longer you take rather than it gets worse based on the number of moves mm. But those other simple games don't have pieces that move and attack you. <laughs> and it's octopuses. Octopuses that, that mess with you. There, there you go. go. Andrew Davies says, I'm pretty sure playing the recall version, it shouldn't be available as a binary. I don't know, somebody, somebody dumped the, the broken version. Anyway, you should check out your ROM list and ch double check which dump is which. Yeah, well, I would need to be able to compare it to a known good dump and do a MD5 sum or what the equivalent of that. Um, what is that program called? Binary scanner or something? Um, yeah, the one I have is labeled. Let me just see ah! what it's labeled. Comes right for you that far. Says, oh no, it, yeah, it says QB Special Edition 2001 Zype Andrew Davy, and then in brackets A, 
and I assumed that was the fixed version. But what was the bug? What was the big bug? I, was it a level bug that you couldn't get to a certain level and it crashed? But we haven't really encountered any game-breaking bugs other than that noise so far. That's not a game-breaking one, it's just noisiness. There we go. Moved on. <laughs> Bad guys moved it. Mm -hmm. Oh! Ah, he those... gets you really fast! He makes a beeline for you super meanie. quick. He's a meanie. That okay, wasn't... I'm gonna have one more game. Alright. If you can reset it. Sure. Because it, um... Pretty. Oh, can you that? I can't. What is this? Oh. I'm pretty sure you're playing the recalled version. It shouldn't be available as a binary anyway. You should check your ROM. And then I can't, I can't recall, but that lock up with the octopus five minutes ago seems to be it. Okay. I think that was the last life, mm -hmm. but maybe it did lock up. That's possible. No bunnies start... interfering with you? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's... that's. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> we jumped at the same time. That was really close. That was... There we go. Woohoo. Oh, get out of here. Oh my god. Yo, go! <laughs> um, I want to go there. I want to go there. I want to go there. Good job. Mm-hmm. Your brain is now starting to understand how efficient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can you can get it in the right spots pretty quick after a while. Oop. As I totally mess it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, get, get! It. <laughs> oh my goodness. Octopuses, it's the fire though that gets you because he just he like Oh just boom if, zoom if, if he has a line to you he will go straight for you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Whereas the octopus is kinda random and the the, the yeah, bunny seems to put the cube where it should be. So uh, from what I can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Does he? Yeah. Okay. He well, moves cubes to where they're they're helpful. supposed to be. Um, he could still be in your way, but... Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's not that far off. <laughs> no, it's not that far. You didn't move it that much. Ah, ah! Get out of here. It was not scary that time. <gasps> Stop it. There we go. Good job. Thank you. Oh. but I got there in the yep. end. That's <laughs> what matters. You're level 12. Mm -hmm. oh. Why 
always hate that when you box yourself in. It's like, ah, how do I fix that? Oh my god, stop it. Oh, that was good. He actually mm -hmm. helped you, I think. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. well, he didn't hurt too much, let's mm -hmm. say. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Oof. Oh my god. Oh, fire guy. Oh. oh, I gotcha. It's okay. It was all crazy. Mm -hmm. It's getting all crazy anyway. Oh. Oh! It's like one move and then another bad move. Don't you? Oh, so fast now. I'm just losing life like crazy now. Okay. Well, it's got to get harder. Almost everything that hatches is like an animal now. You're messing with me. Ah! So fast, is that it? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Do you want to do one more? Mm. One more? One we'll more. Be, we'll move on. on. Move on to our challenges. Oh, sorry. Oh, what was my score? I didn't, didn't. I think it didn't. Oh. It didn't beat forty, but. Um... Don't have uh, arena foot keeping track of the scores today. <laughs> Twenty-five, eight, seven. Thank you, RC seventy. Um, yeah, my forty was that was my big score. Bonnie, right away. <laughs> nope. Move the other one. Oh, yeah. I got confused. The button yeah. confused me for a second there. <laughs> Thomas's three dots has a bug. You can back up with the fire button, but the next piece shouldn't change. If it changes, you can play on and on. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, the next piece shouldn't change if you back up. Get a lot of re like get a lot of points early on if you're really efficient and fast because mm. it doesn't seem that the points increase as the level increases like based on the time like if you do it perfectly you get say ten thousand mm. on the first level if you do it perfectly on the twelfth level you still get the ten thousand or whatever it is and it's one of those games where the scores get smaller and smaller as time goes on yeah it was like so in, if you can do it fast you get your your high score goes up yeah like it was in keystone capers like you didn't get more points each level but each level got slower to do so you got less points each level which seems counterintuitive you should get more points but uh, eh, that's the way it works Oh, he's already stealing. Oh, that was Ooh, close. That, that was, was close. Very close. Yeah, if you start building the bridge to where they need to be right away as, as you get the pieces, then half of them are in place already by the time you get there. Silliness. Yeah, you can't leave one behind unless that's the place it needs to be left behind. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing? There we go. Ooh, it does eat up a chunk of points, like hundreds. Ah! Hundreds of points. So you have to do it like really quick, like bam. Ah, stop it! These wow, guys. oh my god, relentless. What are you doing? He's like <laughs> destroying my points. Okay, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I feel like this is not going to turn. Oh, Where do almost. I have? Oh no, that guy! All the way up and uh. around. Oh, let's change again. I love the flickering for more color and it. shading. Oh, he killed me. Well, that's fine. That wasn't going. Does there flicker? Oh, for, oh, for the um, the extra, like the fruit. Yeah, that's really, really smart. And it's uh, and it totally works fine. And you even continue the flickering for the bunny rabbit, even though it's all one solid color, so it's consistent. But if you look at the strawberry, there's two colors on the same line. Well, your guy is on the same line. And you avoid any 
other possibilities by only having a fruit or an enemy. So there's only two sprites ever. Two characters that could ever be on one line. Yeah, and the flicker is really, like, it's totally fine. It's not even a, a problem. Just kind of looks like a, a faded fruit. Sir Cat Legs, it is fun. It's, 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 it uses a lot of different parts of your brain. Oh, at yeah. At the same time. Because it's, it's not just as simple. You have to keep things connected. It's, which to me, it's makes almost, it complex. on the higher levels, it's almost equally puzzle and action. And that's yeah. well as the, as those guys pretty... spawn and become more and they wreck your puzzle and you have to kill them wreck it. and they're, they're coming for you. Yeah, it's uh, it gets very intense. Not many games are like that. It's either I find they're either pure puzzle, yeah, or they're pure action. And this one is a very very nice balance of the two. Andrew Davies says the flicker works okay on CRT. Yeah, it would it would work a little bit better. Or if you have the settings on uh, Stella set to uh, introduce the phosphor die off. Oh, did I mess up when it changed? Oh, he's so sad. Of course he is. He gets a little bit happy when he jumps because he didn't make it. Andrew didn't program an extra sad jump. He just kept the happy the happy jump. But uh, it's so quick, you can't even tell. <laughs> Did it change on you again? Yes, it's not going so well. Yeah, on the high levels, it's just like... Death. Is that it? Yeah. 20. 20 is the best I've done so far. Is it? Yeah? Yeah, not great, okay. but, but I'm warming up to the strategy. <laughs> is the audio off? I didn't set it. The audio must have been off the whole time, people. Mm -hmm. Nobody complained about the audio? Mm. I hope it's not off. Mm -mm. Fixed in post. Because there was a long beep that someone noted. It can't be off. No, not off. Like The um, audio? Delayed. Oh. No, either way, it's fixed now. Now fixed okay. in post. That sucks. There is sound. No, like the, our speaking. Our like, speaking is delayed then. Yeah, delayed. Not off. Like not turned off because that's no, what I thought you off. said. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I just posted oh, yeah. says, we heard audio. Yes. There is sound. <laughs> And this is a two-player game, so I'm going to get out the second controller. Ah. So which controller do you want? This one? Okay. Yeah, I prefer that. So I'm going to wrap it mm -hmm. and pass over. We're going to play Freeway now. Thanks for dropping in, Andrew, again. Hopefully you can... Yeah, RC70 says voice sync is fine, so... Oh, it is now. No, but... Oh, it was before? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I did that without even realizing it. Okay, we're going to play sweet. one game of the simple level. Okay. And then we're going to go on to the challenge level. Okay. So the simple level is level one. It's a two-player game? Yes. So you're a little chicken. You're trying to cross the oh, road. No! You can only go up and down. You're on the right. Am I? Start moving up. Oh. Oh, you can't go side to side? No. It's not like Frogger. Oh! Oh, wait, they can't see it. One second, peoples. Let's get the proper graphic up. There we go. Turn down the audio just a little bit. Turn it down here so you don't get the echo. And for every successful crossing, you get one point. And it is a timed game. Ah. If you get run over, you don't die. You no, get, you, you get, get pushed, pushed back. back. I noticed that. And little flappy wings, and you get to get injured Aww. for injured a little bit for a little bit. But then you get back up, and you're okay. Arena Foot has made it. Welcome. So you're all, you're playing against the other person, but you're also playing against yourself for time. So you're trying to get as many points in the time frame as possible. And for the for the patch, they give you a specific level with a specific amount of points that you have oh, to get on that level. So you have to, to get, get so many uh... so many points in that time. And they give you the option of two different levels. So. They're probably both, both challenging in their own way. Yeah, probably equally challenging. 
Nathan said he'd rather control the cars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> run Aww. over the chickens. Aww, uh, poor chickens. Poor little chickens. And I believe the cars don't change. No, but their speeds their speeds don't change. No. But but I mean their positioning relative to each other does. Yes. Yeah, it does. And then it's almost done because it's got flashing numbers. So oh. twenty four so and me? eighteen. <laughs> oh, I, played, I played this before. I played this yeah, in the eighties. Is, this is the first <laughs> time I play this game, but it's pretty simple. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So let's take a look at what we need to do. We need to get twenty points mm -hmm. on game three or game seven. Um, this made 20. by yeah, okay. twenty points. This game was made by David Crane, who we had dinner with. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, Met and, David uh, Crane. Yeah, I met him yeah. and had dinner with him. Um, very nice guy. Mm -hmm. And it's a 2K game. Other games he's made is Boggle, Outlaw, Canyon Bobber, Slot Machine, Dragster, Fishing Derby, Laser Blast, Freeway, Grand Prix, Kaboom, Pitfall, the Activision Decathlon, Pitfall 2, Lost Caverns, Skateboarding, and a whole bunch of other games for a whole bunch of other systems. Okay. So, games three or seven. So, we're going to try game three. Okay, and we're off. Uh, 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 go. You're playing too? I know. Oh, okay. You say that like I'm... Oh, no! Back, back, back! Oh, it's so sad. You can back up. If you do that. Oh, you're... my gosh. Getting past that, that middle line is... is Because there's two fast extremely trucks. Extremely challenging. Oh, oh, oh he's no. dead. No. No, he's not dead. He's he just dead. went back home. He went smooshed. No, smooshy, not smooshed. Smooshy. Smooshies. <laughs> oh. ah, it's very challenging. Yeah, because... The, the two fast ones seem to cross each other right at the same time. Yeah, you gotta... It's very irritating when you can't <laughs> move back irritating. and forth, because I, like, I, I want to frogger it, you know? Ah! 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 I can't. I want to, I wanna, like, go with the traffic. It's kind of safe zones. You have to, you have to get to them. Like, I feel like my timing. Oh, right back to the terrible. I don't know how to get past. Uh, I so far have not gotten past that that truck. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh. You, what you do is you go to the blue right after it passes, then wait for one brown yeah, car then and then go. Wait for one brown. One car. brown truck. After you're in the lane of the blue, and then you make to the pink and you're safe. So you wait for one brown car to pass you, yep. and then you and go then you immediately? Go. Yeah. That doesn't seem to work for me. If I wait for him to go, then I get hit by the blue car. Uh, you have to time it up just a little bit with that blue car, because there's enough time to wait. There in we it. go. There you go. <laughs> that took a while to figure out. If I don't make it this time, I think I'll be able to next time because I didn't have that pattern immediately. Yeah, but the pattern changes depending on the, where the pink cars are. Not too much, I yeah, think. It changes Not mine. too much. We're in different positions, too. Oh, that is true. And you get them from an CMR already. Yeah. It's gonna be not going to make it this time, that's for sure. Yeah, oh. 14. Wow. Guide your Keep flightless trying. chickens across the I road. I know, poor flightless chickens. I mean, chickens, chickens aren't great at flying. <laughs> they can fly, but it takes a lot of effort. They've clipped wings a lot of the time. Oh, yes. These are poor chickens that are cooped up, and they've got clipped wings ah! so they can't fly away. Oh. There we go. Oh, I've got a new one. It's time. Oh, yeah. You can see what I mean now. It'll be different for you because you're on a different... It's a little different you plane. See them. Yeah, you see them at a different time than I do. It's kind of funny, though, that as a, as a chicken playing this game... Uh, <laughs> chicken playing this game? Um, I don't know. My timing is, is kind of terrible. Um, I got the first one really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you... Totally demolished me for getting the first one. Um, that they just get hit multiple times. 
That is annoying. You get hit, then you get hit again, you get hit again, you get hit again. And you get hit all the way back. Oh. I still wish it was Frogger. I, want, I keep wanting to go side to side. Yeah, that's the thing. If people are looking at this, go, just, just go side to side. Just go side to side. There is no side to side. There's only like side one side direction. Back or forward. But I find, so I find Hopefully those, more those two fast or ones, the, the, the brown and the blue. Yes. Um... If the pink is timed it properly, like I can't get through the pink, oh, so I'll pass okay. the two of them and get bounced back by those oh. stupid pink cars. Yeah, because the pink for you is immediate, like on the screen. I don't see, I don't see them. Barely get to see them. Yeah. But I have a bit more lead on those. Yeah. Because they're both going in the direction. They give a lot of warning for me. I'm trying to figure out if it's easier to. You don't get a much warning when the blue or the pink are coming. Oh, see, and I accidentally hit the pink card I didn't mean to. So it bounced me back. Oh, terrible. Yeah, I'm just kicking my ass at this point. Oh my god, 15, 16. Am I gonna have time to make it? Come on, come on. Do it, do it. No, that's wow, that's, that's challenging. <laughs> Try it again. Right side You're player close. two is the one to use for the patch run. I don't know. Ah. I'm doing pretty good. Ugh. Yeah, but you've played this game before. Oh, see. Not this one. This one. There's going to be a little bit more risky. Slow. Come on, move it. Move it. Honk, yeah. Honk. It's a nice little. There's subtle little traffic noises. It's quite. Oops. Whoa, oh, I totally. That sucks. Almost, almost. <gasps> no, now I definitely. No! Oh, no. That's a terrible run there. I got 16 flashing, so I think I've improved a little bit. No! Oh, 16! That's did I the get highest. Last time? 16 at uh -huh. last time, too, didn't I? Mm -hmm. That's terrible. I gotta do it. Um... Okay, I gotta do the. Extra little time. Waiting too much. Oh no, no, no! A little riskier. Oh, 
definitely making headway a lot faster. Oh! Come on! So I can get between those pink cards. If I have an opportunity. They are slow. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. So that's gonna be my key. Move it. Cars are sometimes just as bad as the fast ones. Well, the ones you can get around, but you have to kind of just pause around. Oh, I didn't press that. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> mad at cars. Come on, come on, come on. It's See, like, it's, it's like we're commuting to work. <laughs> Rawr, Rawr! Get out of my way! Car anger! Come on! Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go! One more! Come on! Nineteen! <laughs> oh! Oh, what? Can you reset it, please? Because <laughs> I'm wasting seconds when I when I reset it. You're wasting seconds. Well, oh I got goodness. 19 out of 20. I know, so and close. that is, like, seconds. <sighs> precious, precious seconds. Too aggressive. Kamikaze my oh. way across the road, but I need to be pausing. Go, 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 go. Yeah, you do have to be pausing. Well, no, I am pausing, but okay. I mean, it's getting past that brown truck in the blue car. Ponks are timed up to anything that you're doing. Or it's just it seems pretty random. But because you're always in the way of cards. Yeah, they should always be just random them. monkeys. Random honks. Yeah, that was a good one. Come on, move it! Terrible run. Three. This one did much better last time. <laughs> much better. Patch! Yay! Hooray! We have to try the other level too. Yeah. Oh, it's dying there. Patch! <laughs> Got it. Good job. Hey, McMuse. Thanks for uh, <laughs> checking in. Okay, what is the other level? Oh, was it? It was three and... Three and seven. Three or seven. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Let's try this out. This mm -hmm. looks exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Why is this... Oh, no. Yeah. They changed no, speed. No, the blue cars are... Slow. No, they're changing speed. The oh. green ones just just change. Actually, this would change be harder. Speed. Yeah. Mm, kind of harder. Kind of easier. Yeah, the red one just changed speed. They do change speed. You kind of have to just be more aware. Like it's, it's, you have to back up on this one. Be careful. Oh, this is 
Whoa, all the way back, almost to the end. Ah! Like in this one, you're going to get wrecked because you don't know when they're gonna all of a sudden take off. I could see this one getting on this one. Nuts. I swear that uh, car just stopped for me. <laughs> <laughs> funny. Oh, like it was speeding and it then went, speeding oh, and then it slowed the down. Oh, a chicken! Watch out for the chicken! Watch out for the chickenies. Ah, 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 stop it! <laughs> I, I go back too far. Then I get hit other cars. Ah! Because some of the cars are actually slower. Oh, oh, that was same bad. Time. Stop going backwards. Maybe a bit slower. Last one that, I had a lot of trouble with, but this one seems that I easier. I got 18 on my first try, I yeah. think. Let's well, we, go for 20. We have, ooh. Have well, yeah. But, <laughs> running out in front of cars. <laughs> ah. Oh. oh, my wing got clipped on that one. I hate that. can move again that's really annoying yeah because sometimes you it's like ugh, i see i run into cars all the time <laughs> i go a little too far up and i hit yes. them and it bounces me back that's what I'm i have to too. i have to be a little bit more um have a bit more fine control oh where did that green car come from stop it. it oh my god they're all speed and right back to the beginning <laughs> See, and I do that all the time. I'm, I'm hitting cars. Like, I'm trying not like to actually go, go past. Far. Yeah, and then it hits me I've backwards. Oh, too. I do that too much. Too much. It's like I'm in the lane, and I don't even realize I'm in the next lane. I didn't have as good a this time. Cars were unlucky for me. This is a random one, that's for sure. The other one, I was seeing patterns. Like, I was doing one of two patterns to get across. Oh, my God. Oh, this is really hard. 15. Oh, almost. Yeah. Try one more. One more? Yep. Yeah. to get the score on both. any zero that. yes oh boy i'm having a terrible time this round oh, way worse than last stuff. time not good with going backwards either <laughs> no oh stop it 
No, 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 no. Faster, both back. Slow down, get out of the way, especially in the fast lane. All of a sudden, to see the number of times I accidentally hit a car in a lane I don't want to be in yet. Watch your little beak. But it happens. Get your beak hit. All of a sudden. It's okay, you're doing pretty good though. Oh, come on. Come on. Make some room for me. Oh, see? I just did the exact same thing. There's a bunch of bad runs. Yeah. Do it again. Do it again. I know I can do it. <laughs> Come on, move out of the way, slow cars. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Ah, he's good. Come on. Oh, now you're slow. It's also bad. You're fast, then they slow down. You're like, oh no. Going to go past them when they're fast. No choice. There we go. So far, I'm doing not. Oh, come on. Timing up of things. Oh, my head. My chicken head. Poor chicken head. Smack your chicken head. Ah, oh, no. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. Yes, come on. That's good. Now you're slow. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Oh, the blue. No. no. Yep. Oh, this is a terrible run. Oh my god. Terrible. <sighs> yep, ruined. Ruined. Ruined? Yep. It's not, <laughs> not going to happen. I'm just ruined. taking like two minutes for this one point. No. Everything is working against me. Uh just got your books in the mail today, Arena Foot. Makes me use, make me sense. Ten. Oh, that's brutal. One more. Oh. Okay. We're done. See, I did better this time. <laughs> yeah. We're done this game. Well, you're done. You yeah. got your patch. I got my you're patch. Happy. You're happy. I satisfied. am very happy on that one. <laughs> now for a shooter. Mm. Hooray! Play What's next? River Raid. There we go. Nice. Finicky old. It's your Atari? No, it's cartridge. Oh. <laughs> I do have a bad thing. Are you composing music over there? <laughs> Yeah, it's finicky cartridges. Oh. There we go. I don't know if you all, if everybody heard that noise. The beep, 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 beep. So it's a one player. Okay. So what we need to do in this game 
shoot everything. Mm -hmm. And fuel, you have a fuel gauge yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. You've played this? Yes. Yeah, we've played this okay. before. Yeah. We have? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember that. I have played <clears throat> this before. It's, we need to get to 15,000 points. Mm. This is a four gauge, four I remember game. this being very hard, and we were nowhere near 15,000 points when we played it last. Have you been We playing haven't it? played it on the show, ever. I've played it with you. Maybe during... A retro gaming night or something. Yeah, a retro gaming night. But it was night. very challenging, so, from what I recall. <clears throat> okay. You did better than I did, though. I was pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, well, I do yeah. like... I do like the shooters. Mm-hmm. Um, you go first, and mm -hmm. I will read out some instructions. Can't remember the controls, but sure. Left, right, up, down, shoot. I think there's up, down. Oh, there's accelerate and brake. Braking. Um, brake is back. Is it back? It's back. It is braking and accelerate. Oh, it's very loud. Very loud. Sorry, everyone. That is too loud. Arena says, Arena Foot says very, very easy to get to 15. Oh, is it? Oh, I don't know. I... Fire missiles by pressing the red button. Pull down. Oh, shoot, I have to shoot Hold those. down the red button for <laughs> continuous fire, and I find that's easier. Hold down? Yeah. Hold it down. Hold it down. I want to hold it down. Oh. Oh. Sounds like cheating to me. <laughs> it's part of the game. Yeah, it's but then in you. The instructions. You, but then you ac accidentally. Um, Shoot your yes, fuel. you can shoot a fuel instantly, Oops. that's for sure. So you're already at three. All you need I to feel get like 15. if you're a plane in the sky, you shouldn't be hitting ships. That's just uh, my personal Pretend feeling. there's a, it's a bomb. Oh, you're no. bombing them instead. And you can shoot the fuel for uh, points as well. I guess that's true, and I'm running into things, which really So help. the most points are a bridge, which is 500. So really, you only have to shoot uh, 30 bridges and you get, get ah! the touch. I have to accelerate, don't I? <laughs> Jets are 100, so you definitely want to get jets. Can you restart me? Oh. <laughs> Again? Yeah. Slow down over the fuel, you'll pick up more, Nathan says. Mm. But you don't need I fuel. See. It takes a while before you get fuel. Fuel depot is 80, so you actually get quite a few points for shooting the fuel. I guess they gave that because see, you, you kind of need the, the fuel, time. but you don't really want to shoot it unless you need it. Don't shoot it if you can. Um, getting the feel of river. To learn to fly successful missions, you'll need sensitivity, touch, and sharp shooting skills of a precision jet pilot. But that takes time and practice. At first, try jetting down the river at slow speed. Practice bank banking your plane, sharpening your aim, and dodging the enemy. To win this in this game. You'll have to be just as good at dodging as you are destroying enemy bridges and aircraft. Then accelerate your jet with bursts of speed to see how it reacts to the controls. Since you'll be making split-second decisions, you'll need to know exactly how, how you and your plane will act in a pressure situation. Oh, already a third of the way. Ah! How to join the Activision River Raiders. If you reach a score of 15,000 points or more, you're eligible to become an official River Raider. Simply send us a picture of your TV screen, showing your score along with your name and address. And we'll send you an official oh, River Raider emblem. Score the maximum 1 million, and all the points on the screen will be replaced with exclamation points. If you ever do manage to score the ultimate, please send us a photo <laughs> of a million. Such an achievement will certainly rank you as one of the world's greatest game competitors. So a million. Yeah, so Excellent. From there. Carol Shaw is one of Activi Activision's newest game designers, but isn't a newcomer to video game design. I have a feeling this was written a long time ago. Oh, yeah. She's also a scholar in the field of computer science. The River of No Return holds many special challenges and dangers for would-be River Raiders. You'll not only have to know your assault jet, but you'll need to have a good idea of your basic flight plan before you start. That was terrible. <laughs> uh, by knowing the river, pinpointing areas with the highest concentration of enemy and the most fuel depots, you'll have a much better chance of surviving. Since the river is in sections, try jotting down notes for each important section as flight aids. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Nobody's making maps of River Raid. 
Fuel is also a critical factor. When you're far up the river, fuel is scarce, so concentrate on flying to the next fuel depot and don't try to destroy every object. When you become really skilled, you'll find you can actually blow up a fuel de depot right in the middle of refueling. That way you can gain the points and some fuel at the same time. That's right. Finally, remember that your main targets are the bridges. They're worth the most points, and please drop me a note and let me know how you're doing. <laughs> I'd really like to hear from you. Should we, should we, uh... Uh, contact Carol Mail Shaw. Over Carol Shaw. But how we did. <laughs> nice. All the jets. All the bridges. All the jets that fly by? Yeah. Oh, really? 500. That will get you up really they're, they're, a little, they're a little harder than it, mind you, but, yeah. You steer your bullets. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Which yeah. is... With your, well, not cheap. quite... Well... Yeah, it doesn't... Not quite accurate is the term you're thinking of. That's one way to get full fuel, mm -hmm. is to just die. Did you play this game back in the day? Uh, yes. Yes. Not much, but a little bit, I remember. Did you have it? You didn't have an Atari. I didn't have an Atari. The Commodore 64. If I had the choice, I still would have had the Commodore 64. <laughs> well, you can do a lot with the Commodore but 64. But Atari came out before. Yeah, okay. Well before the Commodore 64, so I would have liked to have But my friends had Atari had, had, had them. So you played with them? Yeah. We had uh, the one I remember the most is he had Riddle of the Sphinx, but he didn't have an instruction manual. That's one of those games you absolutely need an instruction oh, really? manual for. It doesn't make any sense if you don't have one. There's a lot of nothing in here. Got the patch. <laughs> that wasn't game. too hard, actually. No. I Are there levels in this right. game, or does uh, it just continue? Like it's just continuous. Oh. Uh, uh, it's it's continuous. There's no boss. There's no, no there's no like uh, pause God. to move up a level kind of thing. Well, you got it the first time. Mickey says, "I feel I played this on the C64, if I remember correctly." It kind of feels like a C64 game. I don't know what it is, but it really does. Yeah, it mm -hmm. does. It does have that feel. I want to look that up. You know up why? On... Because my dad had Flight Simulator, and and the green background and the blue yeah. just reminds me of the Flight Simulator he had on his on our uh, Commodore sixty four. Fifteen six seventy. Got that arena clip. <laughs> Is he still there? Fifteen six seventy. I might. Here, I'll start over. Yeah, thank you. That was not a good start. <laughs> this would have been very simple to make on the C sixty four. Uh, oh yeah, it was. Yep. I did not play it on the C64. I would have remembered those graphics. Really nice mountains in the background. Foot says, go three quarters the way across the fuel, then hit the fire button to blow it up. Yes, definitely. Because then, and you slow down over the fuel and then shoot at the last second, and you'll be just fine. Whoa. 
Nathan Strump says, I should have sent away for Activision patches back in the day. I think part of the problem was the lack of camera that took decent pictures. Yeah. Probably. It, it would have been a little Polarized. bit difficult <laughs> to take a picture. Oh. Just zoom in. Picture of a television screen because really they're not that bright. See, I... Um, so you have not... to... You'd have to be very still. And put it on... Um, very long uh, exposure time but luckily these programs just had a, a very static image um, so you just put on really long exposure time and uh, use high iso film and you could do it but you i would i would you'd have to do with a uh, a tripod would be definitely best I mean, those days are gone and there's no patches anyway anymore. only at the conventions or online. They sell the money. Some are really expensive. Really expensive patches. So I may just save up for a, a whole bunch at once and get really, like, really cheap ones. The cheaper ones. I know the first one that I got, the first patch, um, Frostbite, is one of the most expensive ones out there. So that's probably not what I'm going to be getting anytime soon. Yeah, I got it. Ah! Oh, <laughs> too close. <laughs> Nathan Storm said, I had an Instamatic, point and shoot only. Well, you could have... Yeah. If you put it on the tripod and put in the right ISO film... <gasps> Like a um, 800 ISO. Um, and put it steady on a on a table or something. And it, should, it should be fine. Are they selling originals or remakes? Um, both you can find online. You can get ones that are people that are remaking the patches. I would have gone around it. It's too close. Yeah, I'm, I'm not very good. I'm, I think I'm going to shoot it, but I, I'm not. Like, ah! I, I think I'm going to shoot it, but it, it's not directed directly mm. behind it. 6580. Yeah. Not great. Doing better. Yeah. It's funny. You have a good run and a bad run sometimes. Yeah, the people that are making the patches remaking the patches they're they're similar but you can totally tell they're not the original ones um so your original ones were like like sewn ones I think there's there's some people making patches like they're hand-drawn patches they're like really really rough but they're kind of kind of got a cool vibe to them because they're kind of handmade they feel like they are just like falling behind i'm like, trying to slow down because the t just trying to adjust to the timing of it, but I'm not very yeah. good with the timing of the shots. And... I think I'm pointed at it to shoot it, and then mm. I, I don't hit it. That's that's exactly my timing's very poor. <laughs> it's either slow down or speed up. And I think what you sh want to do is go around things that are too close to you and shoot things always way off in the distance. Yeah, that's true. Because you're getting... You're better off speeding up. But sometimes yeah, things are so close. well ahead of time. Or but, go around. But sometimes I can't... Like, I'm not great at uh, judging. Ugh, and then running into all of... <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> Let's go around it. It's too close. It's too close. Yeah, but if it starts moving, it'll kill me. See, that's what I mean. Well, you know which direction it's going. Right? Yeah, I know what direction it's going, but I don't know when it's going to start moving. Just before you get to it. <laughs> See, and like that one, I shot. It's very close, though. Erin Foot says, getting worse. <laughs> yeah, getting worse for sure. Not getting better. <laughs> 
call it the beer effect. Oh no. <laughs> the more beer I drank, the worse it seems to get. <laughs> To give you more more confidence there's there's like an ultimate um i feel the same way when i play pool i uh, is it uh a curve? The wall. A curve there's a curve and it's like oh yeah i'm doing well and then, yeah not that i have had more than a beer yeah i'm getting worse i wonder if anyone tried a hand-drawn screenshot as proof I bet, oh I, yeah i, I bet, bet they did i bet they, they did i probably they <laughs> sent a letter say i don't have a camera but I drew the screen for you, and he's got like backwards threes for the score. Oh, I probably they'd give the patch out of sympathy, I <laughs> saying so. I would. I don't have a camera, but I got the score. I'd give him the patch because I gave him out for free. You didn't have to pay yeah, for them. That's true. Yeah. As long as you did the uh, a realistic score. Uh, that ended in a zero. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think Nathan Strum alluded to that. There were um, oh there were there were scores. Somebody submitted a high score back in the day. Shooting things too close to you. Well, I can't get around them. Um, the the controversy that Nathan Strum is talking about, I think he's alluding to is that somebody had a high score in a game <laughs> and it ended in a, let's say it ended in a 50. Yeah. Blah, 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 50. And, but their high score for some reason, that, so it ended in a 50, but you can't actually get a score that ends in a 50. It's impossible. There are always like even numbers. Like it, they came in 20s or 40s or 80s. And they weren't, um, they weren't odd numbers. That was an impossible score to get. Marina Foot says there are uh, two Activision, homebrew Activision patches out there. Same Activision quality, so patch. One for Fishing Derby. Ah, uh, yes, there is a patch for Fishing Derby that there was no original patch for. Um, so some people made up their own patch. And another for those who cannot achieve one patch, at all entitled you suck <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh i want the you suck patch you suck patch that's you're not able to get hilarious. any scores at all that's hilarious and that's arena awesome. foot bought both both of them oh nice oh, nathan strum said he designed the you suck patch and atari oh. ager had real ones made of it oh, oh that's so nice. awesome yeah that is pretty cool oh, of course nathan strum designed it he's, he's the uh homebrew designer of graphics Ground Trooper says that the you suck patch and the letter, Ground Trooper. It is epic. Tiki Dan. Tiki Dan case is cool, Nathan. It's definitely very cool. So I've started making the graphics for the um, 12 hour marathon for next Friday. On screen graphics. Just make it. Whoa. That's never going to happen. No. Too far away. And getting everything ready for that. Oh, yeah. oh. You are getting better now. Seven thousand is good. Uh, I find there's the, when you stop and start, sometimes the the timing of them is is worse. Um. Because they're not far away from you. They start really close. Yeah, they. It's, ch it's almost oh, more when challenging you when you when you when you're stopping and starting. Mm. Yep, yep. You can't get distance between you. Is the 12 hour marathon going to be posted on YouTube as well as in parts? Yeah, it's definitely going to be posted in parts. Um, probably uh, four, four three hour parts is what I'm planning on doing. And like stopping and starting, like we're going to take like a, a two minute break every three hours. A two minute break? <laughs> Five minute break? <laughs> Ten minute break? No, not that long. Like a short break so I can stop and start the local recording of it. The um, the Twitch stream will be uh, 12 hours long. Cal Galaga Co-op. Gotta find those bugs. Find the bugs. Yes. 
find the bugs so we can't control each other. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Galaga co-ops. Oh, Nathan wrote the congratulations letter, too. Oh, the fishing derby was entitled Master Bader. Uh -huh. uh. Go around them. You can't always go around them, though. You're saying, like, that's, <laughs> that's a possibility. <laughs> you can't always go around them. See, okay. like... I'm going to play again. How... This is, this is my issue. How, when you Reset. start, are you supposed to get around him? <sighs> You gotta um, stay well ahead, like shoot things like no, when they come when on you, the screen. No, but when you suddenly start and he starts moving, yeah. you can't get behind him to shoot him, so he goes right in front of you. So unless your your shot is perfectly timed, you're mm -hmm. gonna run into him. And that's what I find is, if you're going continuously, it's easier, but once you stop, there are things Oops. within like an, a centimeter from your face when you restart, and it's right. that's when it gets it gets harder. Got a few. Oh. Right into the wall. <laughs> yeah, but I also you're you slowing mean. down a lot more. I go slow. Yeah, and I I, maybe I'm just going too fast. There's no need to go fast. Like, it doesn't give you advantage or disadvantage or anything. Just like keep, I just keep the brakes on the whole time. Yeah, I don't. Um... I never go fast. No. I go normal speed, but I never like press fast. I only I just press fast to try and get time. around something. Oh. But maybe I should just be. The Oops. <laughs> Oof, I almost went into the wall again. I think I was angled. Instead of pressing down, I was to the side of it. Yeah, because I had to get it. It's not going to time up well. Ah! Missing him. Ah, you too. I do like about this game mm -hmm. the need to refuel. Yes, you can't just fly forever. Very few shooters have, have a fuel component anymore. No, and I remember, like I was saying, this reminds me of my dad's flight simulator. And you would have to reland and refuel all the time. Oh, in yeah. It. And uh, kind of and, uh, just reminds me of it a lot. What I'm dying on every time I'm just flying into the wall. Well, because you're trying to get over. Yeah, but too early.
Tight. Tight. Yep. Some more fuel. There we go. No, no, well past ah. 15. Good. I don't know if it gets any harder. It just seems to stay the same, to be honest. I mean, I'm sure the, the pattern of the river itself will change. And what's, and what's where does seem to change, but... The only thing you really need to do is shoot... Ah. Oh, is that it? No, nope. one more. One more. Maybe things get faster. That, that, mm -hmm. that. Okay, that's challenging. Mm -hmm. 17, 5, 10. Good job. Can you hit the when you start that level 10, you'd have to pull back in the joystick immediately. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'd like to get more patches of other games from him. 17, 5, 10. So, I did it. Two patches, <laughs> as I thought I did handpick these games, because I knew they were quite achievable for the patches. I'm going to start getting into games where it's... They're not, they're not games that I'm good at. <laughs> Types of games. It's going to be harder. Much harder to get the patches. And I'll probably just putting one game per uh, extra. Oh, we need the fuels. Slow down, slow right down. There you go. Uh, no, my timing's terrible like sometimes. You're, like you're in, in I uh, think I'm going to get Bob's past Burgers it. where Tina's in the car going... <laughs> Tina, exactly. Tina, swerve! Uh. <laughs> she hits, hits the only other car in the parking lot. <laughs> I know. There, you're doing it again. Speed up. Get around it. No, but if I speed up, I'm going to hit the other thing that's coming. <laughs> <laughs> it is like Tina and Bob's mm -hmm. par Paranoia about... Uh, about hitting it. So you <laughs> I'm going to hit it! And then you hit it. Yeah. yeah. It's like you're calling it before it happens. <laughs> Ice hockey is the easiest one ah, to get. I do it all the time. A patch for. Ah, Just beat the computer. It. So maybe we'll do the ice hockey one next because it's a two player as well. What is ice, ice hockey? Ice hockey. I mean, it's ah, not, not a two it. player to get the patch, but it's a two player and it's a one player to get the patch. 2,000. <laughs> hey, don't make fun of my son. Bring shame to our family. <laughs> the cats the cats won't be in the room. They no, they're not here to watch to this travesty. This travesty of, of river. <laughs> They've left. They've left already. You get a special patch for beating Al Miller. I don't know who Al Miller is. That's probably a bad thing. Oh, right into the wall. Jesus. Oh, my goodness. It's always when I restart. Game designer. For Activision. What do you make? Surround, hunt and score, hangman, basketball, uh, da, 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 tennis, ice hockey, star master, robot tech, checkers. Oh. Ice hockey is such a good game for the 2600. It's really, really simple. It's two on two. And um, my friend and I used to play that a lot back in the day. Um, also, boxing is really good. Really, really good. Activision's boxing. Overhead, and you just punch each other in the nose. Uh, it's so <laughs> really? funny looking. It's like completely overhead. Which Activision games are coming up next? Well, I've com let's see. Mega Mania is coming up. Uh, because that's another shooter that I'm pretty decent at, but I think that possibly it might be a hard one to get. Uh, Mega Mania, Pitfall, Pressure Cooker, and I'm going to add Ice Hockey to that as well. So those are the ones that are coming up. I don't know what order. Maybe Pressure Cooker first, because that seems like a fun one to play on a stream. We're making burgers again. Oh. Leave different ingredients, stacking them up, dropping them in. Is that... Yeah, I think that's... Uh, Mega Mania is another fun, super fun shooter. Yeah, Mega Mania is oh, so good. Um, 6590. That's fine. <laughs> You're reti <laughs> retired on that I'm one? I'm retired on that one. Yeah. Uh, Just going to read a little bit about Carol Shaw. Yeah. 
uh, who designed this game. Did she show up at one of the Portland retro gaming uh, panels? I think no. Because I know there is one female programmer who showed up. I I know that maybe it was a programmer. I think she was from a different department. I think she might have been from the art department. Mm, I think there was a programmer. Really? Yeah. I could be wrong. Um, let's see. River Raid. I'll get Gary back for Pressure Cooker. <laughs> okay, we'll play Pressure Cooker the next show excellent. then. That's excellent. Um, Carol Shaw. Let's see. Development. Um, for its time, River Raid provided an inordinate, inordinate amount of non-random repeating terrain despite constrictive memory limit com uh, computer memory limits. The game program does not actually store the sequence of terrain and other objects. Instead, a procedural generation algorithm manifests them by employing a linear feedback shift register, just like uh, um, uh, Pitfall uses, mm -hmm. with a hard-coded vector, um, just like Pitfall. Mm. So it starts off with a number, mm -hmm. like a seed number, mm. uh, non-random, um, just like Pitfall is always the same. But then it generates the screens based on um, a computer algorithm using that seed and okay. generates the screens from then on. So say the, the first number is a three and a three draws a fuel and a jet plane and a house and okay. the river that wide. Okay. And then it uh, calculates the next number based on that three hmm. and it becomes a six and then yeah. it draws a six. So river. it's not non-random, but it, non -random. it makes it feel random because it's so, or it so goes on forever. Random. Yeah. Cause it, it keeps going off of whatever that seed number is. Yeah. It, it's more obvious in pitfall because in pitfall, you can go back to a screen Yeah. and it'll work backwards that algorithm. Okay. So it'll shift it backwards and it'll come up with uh, that screen again. The same screen, yeah. Yeah, so in Pitfall there's 255, I mm. believe, screens or mm -hmm. a certain limit. I can't remember. And so it loops around even in Pitfall. You can go back to the first screen. Mm. Yeah, Very, very cool. cool. Um, because this starting value is hard-coded, the algorithm generates the same game world every time the program executes. The enemy's crafts AI, however relies on random number generators to mm -hmm. make the enemy movement less predictable. Yeah, smart, yeah. Yeah. So there's some kind of random randomness in random the, in the enemies. In the know. enemies, which makes it yeah, a dynamic. So Carol Shaw uh, was one of the first female game designers who programmed this. Uh, programmers in the video game industry, she's best known for creating the Atari 2600 vertically scrolling shooter River, River Raid, Raid yeah. for Activision. She worked for Atari from 1978 to 80 where she designed multiple games, including 3D tic-tac-toe and video checkers. And she left in 1984 and retired in 1990. Cool. Yeah. Uh, from the University of California. Mm. She's 63 or 64 now. Good for her. Um, and she's married to a cryptographer and nanotechnology researcher. Mm. Um, oh, and she made games for Intellivision, Happy Trails, and Atari 8-Bit, River Raid for, for Atari 8-Bit, mm -hmm. Atari 5200, mm. and the 8-Bit, and mm. she made Calculator for Atari <laughs> in 1979, Excellent. and a game that never came out, Polo, mm. 1978. Cool. So, very cool. Uh, Carol was one of the programmers featured in Stella at 20 at Nolan's house. Nice. Okay. Uh, Nathan's drum, oh, there's a name for that exactly describes what my wife's driving in a construction zone anxiety comes from she's so bad she will not drive any route with constructions in <laughs> low speed yeah. river raid 3 for the next hack show james we already played river raid 3 on a Did we? yeah it's the one where it shoots multiple bullets mm. it's in threes i oh. swear we played that at some point in our hack show i'm pretty sure that was included it makes it really easy like it just yeah. dominates and yeah, destroys like everything on the screen yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Cool. Target fixation. That's what you have. You're like going towards the... Well, I'm, I'm looking to where I'm going. And what I find is I'm shooting the enemies, but I'm looking to where I'm going. And I think sometimes my bullets aren't hitting them. And I don't mm. hit them. But mm. uh, target fixation. No, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a I'm like, bad driver uh, in that sense. No. Because uh, we love watching the show Canada's Worst Driver. Yeah. I love watching that show. <laughs> I love, and like, they'll tell them over and over again, look where you're going, and people f 
fixate or focus on where they're sliding into and then they, yeah, they slide like, into oh, it and then they crash and into it's it. like no look where you're going but then they crash into things and i love that it's like they're they're fixated <laughs> on where they're gonna where they're gonna hit the wall and yeah. not fixated on where they're actually trying to get to yeah. so i know exactly what he means by that yeah. <laughs> but yeah um that's a great show <laughs> It is hilarious. And the it's way like you... it makes you realize how much better a driver you are compared to the people out there. So. And when you become yeah. a good driver, they boot you off the show. Yeah. So the worst driver keeps staying on the show. It's yeah. a weird inverse. It's a weird it's inverse. It's not really a game uh, show. I don't, it... I don't think you win anything. It's not. Yeah. It's more like a reality <laughs> show than yeah. a game show. Like yeah. it just has, yeah, and it's been it's been around for a long time. Or they, or we're just watching repeats. No, no, it's like it's like season eleven or something. It's it's one of those shows that some poor Canadian channel has realized is really cheap to produce, and they just keep producing season after season of it. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so next episode, we were going to play Championship Golf, which is a new game by EA Smith, Edward mm -hmm. Smith. But he said, "No, no, don't put it on yet." Let me fix a couple of things. Oh, okay. So I'm going to put it on in the future when okay. he fixes a couple of things. But it looks golf. really cool. It's oh, got a, it's a split screen. Yeah. And the bottom screen is a head-on shot of the golfer. Mm. And then the top screen is an overhead shot of the course. Yeah. And it really works out really well. I think that's often how they work. Um yeah, or it's got or you have inset. the swing and then it switches to the to the ball. Yes. Yeah. Again, Commodore sixty four golf. I had a golf. Yeah. I had golf on on, yeah. on my Commodore sixty four. Lots of good golf games. Yeah, on there. actually, yeah. My dad liked golf, because um, I mean he's the one who purchased the games. We didn't really have a say. We had <laughs> yes. golf. We had a flight simulator, which I played a lot of. He had a very good flight. I'll have to figure out. I think it was just called flight simulator. Yeah. Um and um. Yeah. Those, he loved golf, so so yeah. yeah, we had a we played a lot of that golf game. So yeah. Anyway. Uh, next episode, we're going to be playing Egg Venture Twenty Six Hundred, yes. Bifrost, Diamond Drop, and one more I haven't figured out yet. Is that with Erlen on Wednesday? Yes, on Wednesday, at eleven a.m. Nice. Nice. And uh, then on Friday is the big show, Twelve Hour Marathon, Yay! which you all should be there for. Yeah. <laughs> Because you're here now, so obviously you are available on a Friday night. <laughs> um, but we're going to be starting at noon bed. and going all the way to midnight. So a normal start time when Darcy's here and then continue on. Continue on. Further and further and further. Yeah. Um, and Erlen's coming for noon too? Yeah. Erlen so both of them will be here at noon. Erlen and Darcy will nice. be here for noon. So we have three people and you're joining us uh, yeah. sometime after five. Probably, yeah. Around yeah. five, five thirty, somewhere around there. Yeah. 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 Uh, just got confirmation that Chris Walton will also be letting me load his home brews onto the Retron Ooh, 77 for the Stella nice. Marathon auction. If you could message me with the names of the people in the Atari Age forums of the people that are letting you load on the games or the list of games, whatever shorter, probably the people, people would be easier because each of those people would have a long list of games. It's my 12-hour work weekend. Ooh, that Nick, sucks. <laughs> why did you schedule that? Yeah. You knew this was coming. <laughs> We've planned this for, no, we that's actually what, moved it about three weeks that's ago. That's what Twitch for mobile is for, by the way. That's right. <laughs> pop Just, it in your ear, listen to the audio, yeah. <laughs> put it in your pocket, look at it once in a while, you yeah. know, oh, oh, I got a call. Okay, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> put it away, yep. Or yeah. get some Google glasses, and, and right. then you can overlay it to get to augmented reality so you can see what you're doing and watch streams at the same time. Yeah. Thank you, Nathan Strum, so much for donating the Retron 77 to the auction mm -hmm. and gathering all the great homebrew that's games awesome. yeah. and loading it up with those games. Yeah, mm. that's very, very cool. Um, so thank you for doing that. And there's lots of other great things. Uh, being auctioned off mm -hmm. um, from a lot of developers. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be playing a ton of games. Games that we want to get high scores on. Games we wanted to finish. Or just want to play. Just want to play mm -hmm. again. You know, like Wall Jump Ninja. We both want to play I it. I love Wall Jump Ninja. That's and so I want to get the high fun. score. Yeah. And we're going to play a lot of Amoeba Jump because we love it. Mm -hmm. And I want to beat a high score. Mm -hmm. So lots of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You can play along at home. <laughs> See if you can beat our high scores. Yes. Um, I think that's about it for now. Um, we're going to get snacks for Friday. 
Yeah. And order pizza. Yay. We pizza. ordered it today. Because we didn't have time to eat. We didn't have time to eat. It <laughs> to was tight, tight for time. Yeah. But we'll order it again. It'll yeah. be a week. It'll be fine. Uh, yeah, that's all good. Uh, from Chris, Cheddar-y, uh Hunchy 2, Juno 1st, Star Castle Arcade. Nice. Oh my god, so good. Nice. That's a good lineup of games, yeah. that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, yeah, Hunchy 2 is a great game. And Juno first. It's an amazing shooter. Mm. Star Castle Arcade, I am terrible at. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Mm -hmm. But it is an amazing game. It's a thrust-based game where you're shooting the castle and there's rings around it. And then you shoot the rings off and little bullets come off and attack you. Um, played it a couple I times. I swear I've played that game, but yeah, I can't And it's, it's like right Yars Revenge. It's yeah, what It's okay. what... Yards Revenge is based on loosely. Okay. But it was very hard for them to make, so they made it kind of flat to the side. Hmm. But it's a round center, and um, there's a guy in the middle. Nice. Really, really good. Nice. Does Retron support Atari Box? Uh, no. No, it doesn't, because it outputs. No. Oh, no. Does it? It should. The it's Retron? Stella. Is it yeah. a standalone? Like, does it have the? It's yeah. It has a. It has normal joystick inputs. Mm -hmm. I would think so. I don't remember even hearing about that. Um, somebody there knows it. Somebody knows if it is supports Atari Vox. I don't. It's a little bit picky. I want Juno First and Atari Vox so bad. Hard to justify the cost though. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the music in Juno First and the sounds in it are so amazing. Mm -hmm. The graphics and the action is so good. But it's very challenging. Okay, so we're done here um, for another week. We'll be back on Wednesday with Erlen at the normal time, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. 6, is that? And, or whatever your local time is. Yeah, 11 a.m., 2 p.m. Eastern, or 6 p.m. GMT, or whatever it is in Australia. I think it's 4 a.m. in Australia. <laughs> Not a good time in Australia, sorry. You have to, chat. <laughs> you have to catch the Friday shows with, with Tanya. All the Australians yeah. will know you very well. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they watch it or on Or Darcy. Well, YouTube. no, Darcy's early too, isn't he? Yeah, yeah it's all true. early except for you. So yeah. you get all the Australians. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Um, but on the 12 hour, it's going to be a very long show. Hmm. Um, so it'll be all the time zones. Yeah. Everybody will be able to We'll watch. cover it all off. Yeah. Excuse me. Mm. Great stream. Congrats. Your patch letters have been posted on your Facebook Yay! post for the show. Thank you, Ground Trooper. For the for the letters, <laughs> he sent me a letter for um, Keystone Capers. Oh, nice! Yeah, so thank very you very nice. much. Yes, have a great weekend, everyone. Yeah, and we'll see you on Wednesday. Yeah. Bye. Bye. -bye.